Let's have a look today at some pants from Massif. Massif is a company that goes a bit under the radar in the tactical clothing community. They started back in 1999 as a company of just two people who sought out to make high performance, flame resistant clothing. These two guys were both veteran uh, search and rescue team members and alpine climbers, and their missions depended on the safety and functionality of their gear. And they now provide high performance, flame resistant outdoor apparel to military, search and rescue, law enforcement, and the wildland fighting community. They've since come out with several lines of clothing. They started with their pure military line, which still exists, and the quite expensive stuff, pants up in the $500 to $1,000 range. But then people started wanting clothing that took cues from the military line and still had a lot of the functionality and, and quality of them, but didn't need the flame resistance. And so they've come out with their civilian line, of which this is an example right here the Massif Battle Axe Combat Pant. And these, these pants have a lot of the features taken from Massif's Army Combat Pant. They do also, their third line, they've come out with a contemporary technical luxury clothing line, or they, as they term it, clothes for spies. And those look like just general, regular, everyday dressy clothes. Sweaters, wool-looking pants, very nice stuff, but expensive stuff. Expensive, I'd love to get some of it. Looks really nice, but it is up there in price. But anyway, this example today is from the civilian line. Massif Battle Axe Combat Pant, like I said, takes a lot of features from their Army Combat Pant and has put it into this. They describe it as being a combat-influenced, specialty outdoor sportswear line. These pants, just to get the basics out of the way, they come in several colors. Black, dark navy, Massif tan, OD green, and they also list ODG on their website. They list both OD green and ODG. Not sure if that's the same color or those are different greens, uh, not sure. Fabric on these, it's a very durable, stretch woven canvas fabric. Seven and a half ounce, wind resistant, 96% nylon, 4% spandex, and it's stretchy. So it's very comfortable when you wear it, gives with you. It also has, as they describe, a DWR finish to shed water. I didn't know what DWR was, didn't really say it on their website. Went to look it up, durable water finish. Now they don't say what kind of finish that is. A lot of the other pants that have a water resistant finish on them use the DuPont Teflon coating, which does tend to wear off after several months of repeated washings. They don't say exactly what kind of finish this is and I've only had these pants for several months. So I can't really comment on how effective that water resistance is over time. Price on these, um, they are, they're not cheap. They're $129. I say that $129 with my hand, my hand over my mouth because they are not cheap pants, but they are very well made. These are the most expensive pants I own of these sort of tactical pants. So let's have a look at the design of these. As always, we will go top to bottom of them. So let's start up at the top. The waist, there are seven belt loops, four front and three back. They are, I believe, one inch by two and a half inches, so they'll take nice big belts. They're also compatible with a rigger belt. The waist here, one of the features of their waist, if you can see this, is that the waist is contoured. So that means it's higher in the back here than it is in the front. So it slopes down, and that just goes with the natural curvature of your body. If they were straight across, that's where you get, a lot of guys with jeans in the back, they get that puckering back here because the jeans are just straight across and they don't go with the natural contours of their waist. So this is going to fit you much better. The button here, it is a button closure on the inside. Not a YKK zipper, it's an ideal zipper. Not familiar with them, but works just fine. Nice metal zipper. It's a nice large zipper pull, so it will not get stuck down here unlike some other companies that have just small zipper pulls and they get stuck down in there. So nice, it's not a locking zipper, uh, but no big deal. It's, uh, it works just fine. On the inside here, there's not a secondary closure, also fine. You know, the things that are gonna hold your pants up are not that extra little button that a lot of pant companies put in here, but it's the quality of the belt that you have on. So reference my belt video, don't wear crappy pants, don't wear crappy belts, and your pants will stay up just fine. On the inside here, the Massif logo, these are 32 shorts. They come short, regular, and long, which is to say 30, 34, and 36. And they are made in Bangladesh. Here's the, uh, the label. Machine wash, cold, cool iron, tumble dry, don't dry clean. No risk there. 
All right, the pocket design. The pockets on these are set up a little bit different than traditional tactical pants. The, the, you know, the regular pockets here are fairly typical. They have sort of an angle design here. They go down and then out this way, and they do have a nylon reinforcement right here out on the edge, such that if you're gonna put a knife in there, like this uh, paramilitary two, it's not going to rub when it's going over that and tear the pocket apart after repeated use. The other nice thing about these pants is that some other brands also, when you have a knife or something in the pocket, because of the way the pockets are constructed, there's no room to get your hand in. On these, because of this angled design, there is plenty of room to still get your hand in there, even with something in the pocket. The crotch here, as do all good quality, high quality pants, there is a gusseted crotch for ease of movement. Now the side pockets on these pants. These pants are set up, as I mentioned, a little bit different with their pocket design. Here you can see from the side, the front pocket that I just covered, the rear pocket, which has a flap over it and a zipper. I believe it's about five inches deep, just enough to get your hand, your wallet in, and then you can zip it up and put that flap back down over it so nothing is going to fall out. The side cargo pockets, the idea on these is that there is a zipper in front here and they're angled. So the opening is in front with a zipper and you then go in there sort of from the front. And the idea with those is that you can access them both from standing and from sitting because some other pants when you're sitting trying to get in them from up here is just a challenge so the idea of these easy access nice big opening zippered here pretty large they are about nine and a half inches top to bottom and at the widest part seven inches and they kind of contour up in and around here now here's my one beef with these pants these pants are in their civilian line which means that they're not technically made for Military, you know, I'm not in the military. I can't really speak to military functionality, but being a civilian, I can speak to civilian functionality. And the one thing that a lot of civilians have is cell phone. And I often put my cell phone down in my cargo pocket. The, the problem with these pockets is that they don't have any dividers in them. It's just one big pocket. It does blouse out some. So they'll hold quite a bit of stuff in there. But the problem is that if you put something like a cell phone in there, once it goes in, and I'll demonstrate this on the outside, it's just free to float around in there. And it eventually ends up like that, across your leg. And it's just not that ideal. It's not as comfortable, especially when you sit down. So it would be nice if there was somehow a divider in there so that you could put it in there and have it held in place vertical. Uh, otherwise, you know, you can put your cell phone up in your front pocket like I do with all my, my regular pants. But I think the functionality of these cargo pockets is slightly diminished by the fact that there's no dividers in there, nothing to really hold in place, whatever you might put in there. So again, really my only, only downside of these pants. Now moving on, the cut of these pants is very tapered. And the idea is, you can see from the top here, I don't know if you can tell here, maybe a little bit better when I put them on, but they are, they get narrow down towards the bottom and that's so that they can fit into a boot if need be. The knees are articulated for a little bit extra comfort. On the bottom here, although I've removed them, there were blousing straps that came with that that were in here, but I've taken them out because, well, I'd, I don't have any use for those personally. And just to show you the back, three belt loops across the back, those two rear pockets, which do have the flaps and the zippers, like I said, about five inches deep, nice and easy to get into. And then the seat is uh, does have double fabric, as does the knees, which by the I forgot to mention, will also accept knee pads. There's a small pocket on the inside that you can put some knee pads in. So there's a general look at the pants. Just give you a close up of the fabric here. Here you can maybe see a little bit of the texture of this fabric. It is stretchy, so it's very comfortable to wear. And I will go ahead and put them on and give you a little bit of an idea of what these massif pants look like on. Well, here's a look at these pants on so you can get an idea of the cut of them. They are cut Fairly narrow, fairly slender compared to a lot of the other tactical pants that kind of billow out a little bit. Fairly snug through the waist and then down into the thigh, there is not a lot of extra room. So if you have big, huge, beefy thighs, these are probably not the pants for you. They will stretch for some added comfort, but overall, not a lot of extra space like some of the other pants have. And just so just something to note, depending on your body type. Because they are cut a little bit more slim, the pockets are also going to be a little bit more snug, almost like a jean cut pocket on some of those pants such that if you put something into the, these pockets, like this cell phone, 
it is going to print a little bit. Now this is not to comment on printing in general, just the cut, just a comment on the cut of these pants to give an idea. Now these pockets, as I mentioned before, they do have this piece of nylon here so that when you're putting your knife or whatever else you need to into these pockets, there is some protection. My usual work gear is a knife, a pen, and a flashlight on my weak side. Even with these in your pocket, there's still plenty of space to get around them because of the cut of this pocket, this angle design. If you're only carrying a knife, ton of space to get your hand in there and get to whatever you need in those pockets. The rear pockets, you just lift up this flap, unzip them, you get in there. It's a bit of a snug fit as well, but you know, not too, not too small, certainly big enough to get your hand in there, get your wallet out, whatever you need. Moving down to these side pockets, one of the unique features of these pants, zipper is very easy to actuate with one handed, both up and down. In the up position, it's closed. Just drag it down and you can get into that pocket. You need to put your cell phone in there and then zip the pant back up. Now, like I mentioned before, my only real complaint about these pants, the only thing I'd like to modify is I would like to have some type of smaller organizational pocket inside this, this cargo pocket because your cell phone starts out standing and it eventually will get to where it is horizontal. And it's not a huge deal, but it's just not quite as comfortable. Now this doesn't have to be for a cell phone. Different people will put different things in these pockets, a magazine, a pen, a knife, whatever small thing you might like to organize, a little notebook, whatever thing you might like to put inside this pocket, it would be nice if there was a smaller pocket in there for just a little bit more organization for them. Now, as I mentioned, easy to get into standing. Also, the idea is that if you're sitting, you can unzip these pockets get in there, get that cell phone or whatever else you have in there out. So nice, unique design on that. They are fairly slender and they do taper down such that if you want to tuck them into a boot, you could do that as well. So there you have a look at these pants. They are not cheap. You think for the price they would be US made, but I guess if they were, they'd be $200 pants. Are they worth it? You know, that's something you're gonna to have to decide. They do have a lot of unique features compared to other pants that I reviewed. This spandex stretchy fabric is different than other pants. Somewhat similar to the 511 Flex Tax, but not quite the same. Nice pockets here in the side. Certainly a unique design with the side cargo pocket, unlike any other pants. And they are cut with a little bit slimmer fit, if that's what you prefer. Almost might give them a little bit more of a professional look, if need be. So check them out, the Massif Battle Axe Combat Pant.